What's good, everybody, and welcome to the channel. Hello, it is Iora Expert. Now, this is gonna be a nice, sweet video. I just want to break down that, and more or less a reminder. We got double rewards for Demonic Beast Battle this week, and I think the next week as well. But you know, at least this we guarantee we have double rewards for Demonic Beast Battles for Ross Velger, Ekneer, Skull and Hottie. They all have double rewards for beating 4 3. Now, let me make sure I turn this down a little bit because that is kind of loud. Now, this is not for Needhogger, unfortunately, because it is the newest one, so they won't be that generous to give us double rewards for him. But here's what you want to do for this week. If you already didn't choose a thing, it's fine, I guess. But if you haven't chosen a Demonic Beast yet, I recommend you choose Needhogger, right? And at least beat floor one and floor two. Floor three, that's whale territory. You don't need to worry about that. But floor one and floor two should be real relatively easy to beat with this team that I'm using at the bottom. I can't really look at it, can I? Okay, with this team right here. But you choose this, and this is what we're really here for. What teams am I going to be running for the other three in order to fast farm them? And that's really relatively simple. So we can go to the beginning. We'll start with the bird. This will be my cl fast clear team for bird. Because there's just a lot of DPS here. Eskinor can hit twice. Dn is a cr pretty good DPS on top of Taunt. So, you know, for floor two, you need a safety net Taunt unit. That'll be her. And she can also do damage at the same time. This team can relatively clear in about five to ten minutes. You know, if you have decent gear on all your units and they're actually built, you should be fine. Um, doesn't really worry about the card set, but if you want to know, I'm using this card set still. But, you know, card sets don't really matter when you have Miguel's Holy Relic and, like, really built units. But that's what we team use for Bird. For the Deer side of things, it is a little bit interesting for me. This is the team I'm going to run for Deer. Not because it's, like, the best team or the fastest team, but it's kind of fast. And I just want to use units I don't really use that often, like Roxy and the Mave Girl. So this is going to be my team for Deer. Maeve's going to be giving me a lot of ults when I use her buffs. On top of that, she's going to be giving me attacks. And, you know, Freyr is 6'6". Six, six. His ultimate is deletion. It just is. Roxy ultimate isn't that crazy. I have a 1'6", but it is a decent ultimate. And Jormungandr's 6'6 six, six ultimate is pretty good. So this is kind of like a rush variant I'm going to go for. But it is decent, and you can do it if you want to. But if you don't want to do it, you know, you can always use the traditional Milum or Escanor the One or, you know, any other better blue DPS than Roxy. I just wanted to use her because I haven't used her in a long time. And now, in terms of Skull and Hottie, this is what I believe to be the best team for Skull and Hottie with your Freyr, Escanor, Red Magelda, and Rathonor. How this works, you literally just turn one for every floor. You go in with Miguelda cards, two of them, or both of them. Except, no, 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 I'm lying. For the first turn of each floor, you go in with Miguelda's attack card, both of Thonar's cards, and then you just attack with, like, Escanor or something. And then at that point, you have 30% lifesteal for free, and you just kind of know diff it. <laughs> it's really easy. It is. That is going to be the teams I'm running for the double weeks that we're going to be having the double rewards so let's go on to the actual thing right need hogger be sure to choose this if you haven't because it's going to be real easy to get matched this next few weeks but need hogger team is again very simple this team can pretty much no diff floor one floor two is a little bit more difficult for three you got to work for it like that i'm gonna be honest floor three you definitely got to work for it but it is possible to clear it with this team but i'm not doing it because i don't have the patience or the time to do that so i'm gonna just stick with this clear for one and two and then i'm gonna go back to my other three demonic beast battles and farm them out i'm using this card set from deer because i don't have the skull and hottie set yet so it's fine but you know if you want to talk about actual um relics that i have and don't have i'm still missing a decent amount i need let me just hide them I'm missing about 10 bird relics from the looks of it. I'm missing seven deer relics, which is fun. I'm missing uh, about half, so like six skull and hottie relics, which aren't the best things ever, but you know, they're there. I want to get them for box. Need hogger, I'm missing a decent amount. I only bought one of them because I don't really do need hogger that often. But you know, when I get LR Lost Vein, I will be buying his holy relic and Deanne's holy relic probably same day. And I don't know about these other ones, but you know, 
it is what it is but that's what i'm gonna be doing for this so yeah bro that's gonna be the video for today i'm just letting y'all know that double rewards are a thing those are active y'all should get the farming if y'all really want y'all holy relics now if y'all want more free to play friendly teams for bird i do have a guide out for it like a complete guide for if you were missing a certain unit what units you can use in case you don't have these units I don't have a guide for any of the other ones because I just never got around to it. But if y'all want to see me make a guide for these demonic beast battles, just let me know and I will make them accordingly. If not, you know, use the teams I showed you. And it's very easy, relevant clears for each floor, except for Need Hogger. It's a little bit more challenging, but you can clear floor one and floor two with little to no issue. But that's going to be the video. So be sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below if you know you're going to use my teams or not or if my teams are already in the meta i'm pretty sure the skull and hottie one is that's like mandatory for everyone to run but you know the deer one is probably the most unique out of the ones that i have so i will be seeing y'all in the next video and i hope y'all have a wonderful day peace